Bonjour. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, the day I'm filming this, it is Hogmanay, as you call it in Scotland, or New Year's Day, as most other people know it as. And you know, this shit show of the year is coming to a close. I'm sure we're all very happy about that. My eye looks really red. So I'll be doing a contact lens addiction. Don't tell my optician. So today, I've got a tear list on my laptop, and we're going to be ranking every month of this year. How exciting. Also, this lighting. Oh my god. Look at this lighting. I still look horrible, but... The lighting's good. So first of all, we're obviously gonna start with January. Now January was an interesting time. It was when the coronavirus was like a thing in China, but like not really anywhere else, because before it came to Italy and all that, Europe. January was when everything you thought was going to be normal. I had my sights set for uni. I still hadn't got my offers by then. So January was very just kind of like meh. So we're gonna put January in like a, a B because coronavirus still wasn't a thing. So <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of season days. Next up is February. I had my prelims in February. I had my first speaking exam in February. That was once again, like a no COVID, but like, uh, it's kind of becoming more serious, but like not really. In my mind in February, everything was still gonna go as it should. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with A. I feel like A was pretty different month in February because it was going well, you know? I thought I would have a normal year. How wrong was I? And next up, we have the shit show that was March. March was the weirdest time I think I've ever had. So the weirdest thing for me was this week. It was the last week of school, but by then I didn't know that. So everything was normal. Sunday, I actually, on the 15th of March, I actually went to a concert <laughs> with, well, how many people were in the audience? 11,000 people, I think. I didn't catch COVID though, because Monday was pretty normal. Tuesday, was my speaking exam actually for Spanish. Never found out the mark for that actually. And then we found out that my dance classes were being canceled. And then also I think that's the day of Eurovision was canceled, which really hit me here the most. So that was the saddest thing for me. And then Wednesday was when the next schools were gonna close the, that week. And then Thursday is when they canceled the exams. And then Friday was the last day of school ever. It was a roller coaster of time. So that's why March is going in D because it was a, a whirlwind of emotions. Actually, you know, C because it was new, you know. It was when it wasn't getting old, you know? Oh, I just have a few weeks off of school. I generally thought that I would be back after Easter after the Easter holidays in like April. And I didn't think, I don't really know what I thought was gonna happen. I didn't think it would last as long, to be honest. That's when I was still like, you know what? I'll go on, I'll go on holiday, I'll go on holiday. I didn't. April's next. Now April was when the reality was setting in that this is what's gonna be happening for the next few months. And the worst thing about April and May was definitely the fact that as a big Eurovision fan myself, April and May, April is when all like the pre-parties happen and then May is when the actual like competition happens. So like all I could think through oh, when it was these two months was this is what should be happening and it's not. And for that reason, I think I'm gonna put April in C. No, April's going in D actually, I was very sad through April. I should know. No, April's going in C because we still had, in our French and Spanish classes, we still had these like just team meetings where we would just like learn about a French song or something like that, or did like some Spanish poetry, which sounds like work, but it really wasn't, but it was nice to like hear people's voices. So I had some sort of human interaction. And then, oh, May. May was definitely the worst. May was, yeah, Eurovision. I mean, I liked what they had, and Eurovision Channel Light was nice. And I did, I like, we had Eurovision come together, which was like a BBC thing that all nights before. So it was still things on, but like, all I could think of through that month was, this should be happening and it's not. Especially also because in May, I was going to go to Copenhagen and Malmo actually. I've never been to any Scandinavian country. I've never been to Sweden or Denmark. And I was gonna go with my sister, I was so excited. And then we were supposed to go the week after the origin, so like 20th or something, I don't remember. And I was single cancelled, we couldn't go abroad, which was really upsetting for me because I was so excited for that. And we were gonna reschedule it for this holidays, but you know, cases went back up again, so we couldn't do that. <sighs> so definitely May's going in D. Next up is June. June is when the weather starts to get better. When you're like, well, I guess I'm stuck doing this for a while. June is also when I went on a lot of walks in June. June is when I was, I was gonna like, okay, I'm finally over my Eurovision withdrawal depression. So I'm gonna start going, I went on a walk every morning cause it was warm and I did this and did that. I was like, I'm gonna teach myself Russian. I never did. I was a bit more like happy, I guess. So we're gonna put June, we're gonna put June in C actually. July was when more things were opening. July was pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's when none of the shops opened in Scotland again. I don't really remember. It was when they put the masks in place. I was kind of hopeful. Like I remember before the second kind of spike again, uh, I remember them all talking about how Scotland would eliminate the virus by like September. Didn't happen. Um, we were down, we had a few days when we had like no cases, but we had 2000 yesterday. So I'm gonna put July, I'm gonna put July in B. July is going in B. And then next we have August. August was when I think I got rid of the whole productivity and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy the time I've got because I'm never gonna have this much time to do nothing. 
August was when I really got into watching Twitch. I mean, I watched it before and I watched VODs, but it was the first time I really got into it because this is when, I think, I don't know, it was July when we were joining the GMSMP, but August was when the first war for Le Manberg happened. And oh my God, I got very invested. <laughs> and I still am very invested. Oh my God. So that definitely was a good time for me because it was something that I was watching that I was really enjoying and getting into. Especially because you originally ripped away from me. So I don't have as many obsessions as I usually do. So that's what we're gonna put August in A. Controversial, but I'm feeling it. Next up we have September. Now, I'm not saying it's just because my birthday's in September, but September, before I explain, S. The cases were really low in September, I think, I'm pretty sure. Well, at least at the start of September they were. I actually got to go out for my birthday. Obviously there's still kind of a bit of restrictions in, but it was before the tier system. It was a good time. And as well as that, I started uni in September. Freshers week was good because the pubs were still open. <laughs> I could still sit in the union at 11 o'clock at night. You know, the good times, the good times. I do miss September actually, because that was when it was low and you could still do things, but now it's like, well, have to shop Primark. Next up we have October. In October is when I had an existential crisis and was like, do I want to drop out of uni? Online uni is shit, I hate it. And it was when the cases were going up, there's more restrictions in and there's like less things you can actually do. So October was like, maybe like a, like a C. I put October in C. November. I think just because October was when my existential crisis was, I'm gonna put it in D actually. Next up we have November. I think November is a good time. It was, I, I technically broke the rules and I went home for a few days in November, but I feel like November was pretty good. I mean, I stopped trying in uni as much. Instead of, you know, pausing the lecture after every five seconds to take notes, I just started putting on in the background. Oops, don't tell my mom. But if I was also when I got my PC, I started streaming. So that was something good actually. So that's why I'm gonna put November in C. Finally, we have December. The month we're in right now, the month that will be gone tomorrow. December, mixed emotions. I actually came home from uni quite early and I didn't have any exams, so I didn't really need to stay. So I've been at home, which has been good. I've been enjoying that. I mean, I, have been, I haven't been able to stream. I haven't got my PC on me and stuff. It's raining. December is Christmas, New Year's, Christmas and Crossing. All the best. And that's why I put it all the way up there. Hope you have a good new year. Anyway, goodbye. Like the sun, I'm going to go. If you like this video, like this video. Remember to subscribe, I will it every Friday. I do.